Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss reference variable. A reference provides an alias or a different name for a variable. In previous video, we have seen that a reference is a derived data type. So it is derived from built-in or you can say primary data types like integral or floating. One of the most important uses for references in passing arguments to functions. Let us understand this with the example code. Here we are having variable a that is holding value 5. So if we want to give different name for variable a, then we can use reference variable. Here end person and answer. So answer is a variable name. If we want to con if we want to declare this answer as a reference variable, we used to write end person. So it seems very similar to pointer variable here. In case of pointer variable, we used to write variable name and asterisk sign in prefix. So this will be a different name for A. So if we write, if we print A in our program, then it will be displaying 5. If we print answer, it also display 5 most important thing is that it is necessary to initialize the reference at the time of declaration so if we declare variable a equals to 5 and in between code if you assign n person answer equals to a that is not allowed at the time of initialization of this variable you have to provide the different name so if we display over here a it will be displaying 5 in output and person a that is the address of a it will be some hexadecimal value 0 x 6 f f e 34 if we display answer so what it will be printing it will be printing 5 because answer is ultimately a different name for variable a so if we print a or answer both will display same output that will be 5 now here the new things now if we display variable answer start now if you display n person answer then it will be displaying the address in hexadecimal here you can observe that the address of answer variable and address of a variable both are same so this statement is not allocating a separate memory location like pointer variable so answer is just a different name of same memory location if i perform answer plus plus so it will be adding one value to the answer and storing it into answer so if i print a it will be displaying six so if i make change in answer it is affecting the variable a and if i print answer here again it will be displaying 6 so c++ references allow you to create second name for the variable right reference variable for the purpose of accessing or modifying value of original variable in previous example we have plus plus answer variable so its effect was on original variable even if the second name is located within the different scope so in case of functions if you change uh, change the value of reference variable and your original variable is in main function then it will be affected now question comes then what is difference between reference and pointer so let us understand this we are very we are having variable i different name for i is right now r so if we write first statement it will be allocating one memory location here is some address and it will label it as i in second statement we are creating different name for that location so different name for this same location is r in case of pointer address of i is stored to p so this statement allocates separate memory location for p and store the address of i so p will be ultimately pointing to address so we can easily say that in case of references it will not allocate separate memory location while pointer will allocate separate memory location 
References is a variable which refers to another variable while pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable and points to the variable that holds the address. Now next is enumeration. Enumeration is user defined data type like structure, union, class. So it is a set of named integer constants. Enumerations are defined much like structures. Let us see. Enum is a keyword, then enumeration name, and here are the integral constants. So if you declare structure variable, you supposed to write struct, then days, and then structure members inside brackets, and then semicolon. So it is declared the same like structure. Here enum is keyword days. Now it is a user defined data type it is same like integer so here we will so here we will call it as tag name and these are the integer values for symbolic constants enumeration automatically enumerates the integer constants with 0 1 2 3 and so on so above statement creates days the name of new data type or user defined data type by default it enumerates or assigns value 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 and so on it establishes sunday monday and so on symbolic constants for the integer value 0 to 7 over here now let us have one example here we have created enumeration coin member is penny nickel dime quarter with value 100 then half dollar and dollar so by default it will be assigning 0 to penny then 1 to nickel 2 to dime now from quarter we have assigned 100 so it will start enumeration 100 then 101 102 and so on here we, let us understand the behavior of enumeration in different condition here days is new data type it is same like if you declare integer today so we can declare days today so, so today is right now of type enumeration this variable today is declared of type days tuesday that is the integral constant so this statement is valid because tuesday is enumerator value 1 will be assigned to today tuesday is of type enumeration days so you can assign it into its member if i want to if i try if i try to store 6 to today function it is invalid because 6 is not an enumerator it is integer value if i perform plus plus operation on today it is invalid because today is of type days not integer not float not double so today is of type days we cannot apply plus plus to structure variable also same it is applicable to enumeration variables now if i perform monday plus friday both are of type days or you can say enumeration it is also invalid but if i declare variable of type integer and assign the enumeration constant then it is valid days data type converted to integer so actually saturday is a of type days and it automatically converted to integer and value 6 assigned to that number same way if i write 5 plus monday so this monday is of type monday is of type days automatically converted to integer so 5 plus 1 6 will be stored to the number so this is the behavior of enumeration variable thank you